What's going on, everybody? It's Jay Myrax. Welcome to Altruist TV. I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel so far. I really appreciate all the love and feedback you've been giving me on my videos throughout the years, and I appreciate the continued support. So, my question today What gang are you from? Where are you from? What gang are you from? And that might be like a weird question. Like, okay, what do you mean? What gang am I from? I make music. I'm a music producer. The question is, what gang are you a part of? Because, you know, when I look online sometimes, I have a hard time figuring out whether people are music producers or if they're gang members or part of a political faction. And the reason I say that is because I often see a lot of people talking about Team Machine or Team MPC or Team Ableton or Team Fruity Loops and, you know, all these different factions of beat making devices and software. And I wonder what's the purpose or relevance of a beat making faction? If you really think about it, the majority of these beat making devices and software do a lot of the same things. They all sequence, uh, pretty much everything samples now, pretty much everything can record audio to some degree, everything can control MIDI and you know sequence VSTs and all these other things that we're so used to now for the most part. And you know, even the things that can't sequence VSTs and can't interact with the computer still have ways of dealing with the computer and being incorporated into a modern music production environment. So then the question is, why the factions? Why are we separated? When I look at all the things that are different between all the music production tools that are available, you can see that a lot of the things that are different become very small things that are very particular to music producers. For example, I own both the MPC Renaissance and the machine. And I can tell you that when I want to sequence MIDI hardware, the MPC Renaissance is actually a better device for me for a couple of small reasons. So one reason is that it allows me to do program change from the hardware device to control the patches on my hardware synthesizers. And the other reason that it's better for me for hardware sequencing is that I can also export my full song as a MIDI file. So those are two very particular things if you think about it, because for the most part, I would say a lot of music producers today don't even own any hardware synthesizers. So what good is a program change or MIDI export for people that don't even use hardware? So you see, it's just, it, it can become very small or minute things that can make the difference between whether something is better for one person than another person. And when I think about it, it, it really shows me that a lot of the things that are different are things that, you know, each of us as music producers should pay attention and kind of learn new things and learn about new workflow potential that is available in different areas. Now, granted, I'm not advocating to anyone that they should jump ship and, you know, what I would call uh, feature shopping, trying to jump ship every time some new product has some new feature that seems cool. But what I am saying is that we shouldn't so much separate ourselves based upon small differences with regards to music production gear because there's a lot of things that we can learn from each other about music production based upon the workflow and the paradigms that we make music or beats in. 
And I know with, you know, as far as beat machines go, beat machines are such an iconic concept for beat producers that, you know, it, it can become much of a personal and, you know, uh, emotional thing. Some people are like, yeah, ASR 10 to the death, you know, NPC for life, machine, you know, and it's like, well, that's great. It's good to have, you know, love for the equipment that you, um, you use, but you got to understand at the end of the day, the equipment doesn't make music. We make the music. So the equipment is just tools. So for me, I like to know what tools are available because I don't like to limit my creative potential. My creative potential is free and I'm free to wander to find different tools that will allow me to fully realize the ideas that I have creatively. And different software, different hardware, different music production tools, they have different things that they're able to accomplish that will get you closer to realizing the potential of your ideas. So I like to talk to other music producers about how they work, try to just really understand where they're coming from because I'm a student. I like to remain a student of music production. So, you know, even when I was, you know, years back, I used to watch a lot of, um, I would call electronic music producers. You, you, you know, maybe today you'd call them an EDM producer, but this is before, you know, EDM was like a big thing or whatever. So I would watch, you know, house producers and techno producers and other producers that I would see on, you know, things like Future Music Magazine and Computer Music, and you would see them working and they would work completely different from me. And a lot of them would use Cubase or, you know, other programs that I didn't use. And they love those programs because of what they were able to accomplish in them. Never once though did I think, man, Cubase is whack. And because they're doing Cubase and they're making techno music, I'm not gonna watch them because I learned so much from watching those guys work. I learned so much about different ideas of how to manipulate audio and how the manipulation of audio and committing to audio immediately can be beneficial as a music producer. Because otherwise, had I stayed with the Team MPC at that time, if I would have stayed with Team MPC, I wouldn't have thought about how to start working with audio immediately to create different type of sound effects and different type of movements and transitions in my music production. So just me being open to learning from people that work differently, that like different equipment and just understand music production from a different paradigm, it's, it's been, oh my goodness, it's just been invaluable for me really. Um, so. Yeah, I always wonder, like, you know, why do we have gangs in music production equipment or music production tools? It's so much that we can learn from each other. And, you know, this was just a short rant. I don't, I don't want to take up too much time, but I just want everybody to consider that there are so many different things that we can learn from each other. And if we're open to just talking to each other and communicating and be just remaining students of music production and not so emotional or politically driven with what we're doing, we stand to really elevate ourselves and our abilities in pushing forward with technology. Because at the end of the day, I feel that so many of us are only using technology and all the tools that are available at a bare minimum level. Now I'm not saying that all of us are using it that way because some of us are doing an excellent job at really taking the best aspects of what's available and pushing forward music with those things. But then I, when I check online and sometimes I, I notice people are also stuck within a older paradigm of beat making and music production. and I just challenge people to start thinking about the production tools that they have 
and maybe learning some things from others so that they can take it back into their own music production and try to apply and extrapolate upon the things that they have seen other music producers do because we can all learn from each other. So, you know, once we start really utilizing technology to its fullest, we'll start to see music and sound possibilities expand greatly. And I think that's an important idea to keep in mind is that we as creatives all influence each other. So it's important for us to put music out and it's also important for us to each explore different possibilities to spark each other because we all collectively feed off of each other. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's just a general rant. I may come back later and have some of my other producer buddies join in on this conversation because it's a deep conversation and there's a lot of ideas that different music producers share. I'm just sharing with you my perspective at this point. But I hope some of you guys can feel what I'm saying and I just, you know, I, I want to bring a collective of music producers together that, you know, are able to communicate with me and share ideas with me as well. So, you know, if you guys have comments about what I'm talking about, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Even if you don't agree with what I'm saying, I'm so open to hear what you have to say. I, I love to learn from you. So please feel free to leave your comments. So we're going to keep this going. We're going to just keep the conversations about music production going. I'm going to continue doing working on beats and all the other music tutorials that you guys have come to love over the course of Altruist TV. So I thank you again for subscribing to my channel. I thank you for watching this video. And until next time, I want to tell you guys peace and God bless.